Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can create this sick teleporting echo effect in After Effects. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick teleporting echo effect in After Effects. This effect is based off the Middle Fingers music video by Tay Money Duh. Which by the way, if you guys see any cool effects in any music videos in which you'd like us to make a tutorial on, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But anyways, today all we'll be using is After Effects, no plugins at all required. It's a really simple, easy effect and it's just a really great overall way to spice up your music video edits. Really quickly, before we dive into the tutorial, if you guys are looking to spice up your music video edits and save yourself a bunch of time, I definitely recommend checking out the 11%.net editing preset store. There we seriously spill all the sauce on how you can really create some sick video edits and effects using After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, even Lightroom. We have preset packs ranging from title card presets all the way to Chrome 3D VFX. There's just a bunch of super sick stuff there and it's really easy and simple to use. It's really the best investment any video editor can ever make. So definitely make sure to check out 11%.net if you're interested. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we are inside of After Effects. Right here, you can see we have our clip loaded up. Now, one of the first things we're gonna do, of course, like every tutorial, is we're gonna rotoscope. First thing we're gonna technically do is we're gonna duplicate it. So we're gonna hit Command D on your clip right here, and we're just gonna duplicate that. And then the second top clip right here, we are going to rotoscope. But yeah, remember to duplicate it first. I'm gonna turn off the visibility of this bottom layer. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to double click this top layer right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our roto brush tool right here, this little roto brush paintbrush. Now, for those of you who don't know how to use the roto brush tool, we do have a tutorial which you can check out right here in this link right here. For those of you who don't, we're just gonna go over quickly how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag and color a nice little green arrow or green paintbrush over our subject. And right now I'm using After Effects Beta, which is giving me Rotoscope 3.0, but Rotobrush 3.0 is absolutely incredible. So it's doing an absolutely amazing job of selecting our subject right here. So we're just drawing out the first frame. Now really quickly, if you do come across this yellow arrow right here and it says frame rate mismatch, footage found and you can't rotoscope and it's just messing you up. Just remember you can come over here to composition, hit composition settings and basically match the exact frame rate right here to the frame rate that it's asking in this yellow error bar. Big error that most people miss and it tripped me up when I first started off and none of the tutorials went over how to fix it. So yeah, big error, make sure you have that checked. All right, now what you're gonna do is once you have your first rotoscope framed analyzed, we're just going to basically drag along the timeline. Now, once you have your first frame selected, we're just going to simply drag along the timeline and After Effects is going to take its time loading. And you can see right here, we have a pretty decent rotoscope. And now once you get to the end of your rotoscope track, just remember to hit this very important button, freeze. Remember to freeze all your rotoscope frames because God forbid if anything happens, you do not wanna be losing all your hard rotoscope work. Once it's done freezing, you're gonna come back to your main composition by clicking the composition, the main composition tab right here. And you can see we have a nice rotoscope drake. Look at them go. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to turn the visibility of our bottom layer back on. I'm going to right click and rename this rotoscope layer Drizzy Roto just so we can stay organized. Drizzy Roto, yep, there you go, boom. All right, now that we have the rotoscope and the duplication layer, it's time to start jumping into our main visual effects. So we're gonna come over here to our effects and presets and we're gonna start searching for some effects. The first effect being is going to be a transform effect. So this is gonna be the actual animation itself. So come over here to your effects and presets and search for transform and drag it to your top rotoscope layer. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come probably, uh, let's say right here, 75% way through the clip and I am I'm going to make sure I hit a keyframe on the position and scale of the transform effect, not the transform actual like transform properties of your clip, but the effects under transform. So if you're going to be editing under your timeline right here, make sure that the transform is under effects. Very, very important part. It messed me up a bunch of times. So just make sure you're, you're under the actual effects version. I'm gonna be editing right here um, on the left hand side just so I don't mess up. So I'm gonna hit the keyframe on scale and position right here at about you know 75% way through the clip. And now it's time to add some fun animations. So this part is pretty much up to you and your creativity on your clip, uh, depending on how much you know animation you wanna have. So we're gonna move probably about five to six frames before. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to just move around our Drake. So now a big important thing is make sure you're not actually dragging this frame because the animation is not being tracked, but you have to actually use these keyframes. It sucks, I know, but it's worth it, trust me. So now you can see if we played it out, I want mine just a little bit faster, so maybe we can do like four frames. 
And now you can see we have these nice cool jumping effects. Now let's just continue to do this throughout the rest of the clip. So I'm just gonna hit Command C and copy the last two keyframes and then I'm gonna paste it right here, maybe like seven to 10 frames before, go another four to five frames before, and then I'm just going to move this position around again. So the whole gist is that I'm kind of making this frame kind of like jump around the scene. And you can also mess around with the scale as well. Just, you know, depends on your clip. And one more time, I'm just going to select and copy the last two keyframes, paste them six to 10 frames before. I'm gonna go another four to five frames before, and then I'm just going to move the position again to another random variable point. And who knows, maybe I might increase the scale as well. And now you can see if we play this out, you have this sick jumping teleport animation. It looks like Drizzy just like jumping around the scene. It's pretty cool. Now, of course, we can't forget to check the motion blur box. That pretty much just wraps it all up. That's the physics. We gotta, we gotta have motion blur. I'm serious. Every edit has to have motion blur. That's the key sauce to any making edit any edit look fire. So now that we have Drake kind of just jumping around the scene, and it's cool, but there's still some more stuff. There's still some more work that has to be done right here. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to close this up and just get our timeline nice and simple. And I'm going to hit Command D if you're on Mac to duplicate your Drizzy Roto layer. So now we have Drizzy Roto layer two and we have Drizzy Roto layer one. And on number one, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be applying this nice, sick echo effect. Now this echo effect is really gonna tie everything together because this is this is where the real sauce, the real meat of this, this edit is. So we're gonna go to our effects and presets and you guessed it, we're gonna search for echo and now we're gonna just drag and apply this to Drizzy layer one or Drizzy Roto layer one. And now you can see we have some cool echoes going on, but you can see there's kind of some bleeding going on. Let's go ahead and just fix some of these settings right here. So what I'm gonna do, this is Lil Yachty's fingernail, by the way. It's, it's from the music video. It's, it's just the previous scene is bleeding onto the, the rotoscope. That's for context. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to change the echo effects. We're gonna change some of these echo variables. We're gonna change the number of echoes to something like six. And then I'm gonna change the echo time, the, the time seconds. I'm gonna change that to something about like negative 0, 0.0, let's say like two, three. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. Negative 0.023, yep. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the echo operator to screen. And now you can see if we play this out, let's see. All right, there we go. Now we're having some sick echo effects going on right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the decay to something like 0.9, so that way we just have less echoes jumping around. And now, if you have a scene, a couple frames that are bleeding or just kind of like staying stagnant in the first few frames, you can just simply trim the rotoscope. It doesn't make that much of a difference, and plus there's not any movement in the beginning anyways. So now you can see, if we play this out, we have this sick, like, jumping teleport effect is definitely starting to look really, really cool. The only problem is now, oh, and of course, when we get to the end last frame, you're just gonna wanna make sure you have a keyframe set on the number of echoes, and then we're gonna go a couple frames after he like hits his final frame, and we're just gonna set the number of echoes to zero, so that way there's no more echoes trailing Drake as uh, the clip ends. So now we have this sick effect, but there's only one problem. There's an actual original Drake in the first original frame. We don't want him there. We want to make it look like he's jumping around the frame and then he kind of just ends up in the frame walking. So the way we can do this is we are going to remove the subject. And now there's a way to do this in After Effects. It's over here if you go over here to Content Aware Fill, and you can basically come over here to your main clip original layer and it's just a whole other mess and it honestly takes a lot of time and a lot of storage. I don't recommend doing it. Why? Because we have AI. We have AI guys. We're not going to be editing anything manually now if the AI can do it for us. Now really quickly, we are going to go over here and we're going to hop into Google Chrome and we're going to type in run wayml.com. Boom, there we go. And now we're going to basically log into our account. I want you to make a login account, please. I, I promise this is gonna be the, the best decision you'll ever make as a video editor this year. Second to buying our preset packs at 11%.net. 
So the reason why is because runway.com basically does all the stuff you can do in After Effects with AI and it's like 10 times better and you have three free first projects and by three projects you can basically just continuously edit in those three projects and just delete the stuff that you had before so it's basically free so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the first tab the home page once you make an account and we're going to hit view all tools and now you're going to see there's a bunch of crazy effects over here we're going to do a bunch of tutorials on all of these there's so much more to do with runwayml.com but we're going to come over here to in painting we're going to come over here to this in painting effect and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be dragging Dragging in the same clip right here that we have of Drake. Let me increase the brush size and I'm just gonna color over Drake right now with our AI roto brush. Let's see this. And boom, look at him, he's gone. He is gone. Just like that, Drake is gone. He's disappeared. And if you play this out, he is still gone. If you play it out, he is still gone. And you can see it is basically just remove Drake, just like that. If you did this in After Effects, it would take a nice five minutes and a nice five gigabytes. And what you're gonna do is once you're done in painting, you're going to just simply hit done in painting and then export it and then boom, there you go. Now it's time to jump right back into After Effects. So now that we're back in After Effects, we have our nice little Drake empty clip here. Only problem is, is that it kind of exports in 720p only because that's the, the basic free limit. But if you guys would like to upgrade your account that's up to you yeah you can totally do that not my problem what you're going to do is we're going to drag in our new empty clip and i'm going to right click this and i'm going to hit transform and i'm just going to fit to comp height there you go boom so now drake is not gone not there in the background you can see we have this nice empty background and now once drake finally lands at that final frame we can just hit command shift d and trim that layer so now we have this nice seamless transition as Drake just kind of jumps around the frame and just lands right there and just continues walking. And with that guys, that is pretty much the final effect. If you would like to make this any bit cleaner, you can of course just go ahead and trim down these last two frames right here. So it's the actual original clip of Drake walking. And boom, there you go guys. There we have it, a nice sick echo teleport effect it's super easy to recreate super simple no plugins required and oh one last thing if you'd like to spice this up even more i recommend you can go ahead and add some tint or some glow to this this drizzy roto layer one like let's say if i want to want the echo to be like a nice like pink or something right there we can set this this echo to like a pinkish color and now he's like kind of jumping around and he's and he's pink that's cool and then i would also add some glow i'd search for some glow and i'd also apply that there as well and then i would just increase the radius of the glow like a bunch maybe something like maybe something like around 100 or 90 and now you can see if we play this out we have this sick pink drake echo going on right here and that's just another sick effect that you can do as well like i said guys there's really so much sick stuff that you can do with this effect i really recommend that you just play around with it and have fun one last effect that i almost forgot to add we're gonna come back to our effects and presets and we're search for this effect it's called subscribe oh it's not it's not an effect it's actually a button on the video so if you would like to go hit this button right here it says subscribe please it mean the world thank you guys and with that guys here's the final result if you guys made it to the end of the video really i just want to say thank you again so much for watching if you managed to find any value or help from this video please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe it's free all this content is free so really it means the world once again if you're looking to spice up your edits definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net there we seriously spill all the sauce i'm telling you we're spilling all the sauce on video editing presets for after effects premiere pro davinci resolve we got them all most recently we just dropped our new paint preset pack it's absolutely insane super easy to use literally just drag and drop onto your videos and create some dope effects so if you're interested in speeding up your editing workflow and also creating some sick visual effects while you're at it definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net that's how you guys support me and keep me going so really it means the world if if you guys had any questions or comments or concerns throughout the entirety of this tutorial, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, remember to recommend any effects you'd like to see us make a tutorial to. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.